The disciples often saw Jesus praying. He talked with his Father in heaven every day. Sometimes he would pray along with other people, while other times he would quietly leave the crowds or his small group of disciples to spend time alone with God. One day after he was finished praying, one of his disciples asked him, Master, please teach us to pray. We have heard your servant John the Baptist teaching about prayer. Can you also teach us how to talk to God? Of course, Jesus agreed, because this was an important topic for all of his disciples to learn. So he began to teach, When you pray, begin with our Father in heaven. Holy is your name. Jesus taught his disciples that God is holy, and there is none like him. But even though God is so powerful and great, they could still call him Father, in the same way a young child talks to their own loving parent. He continued, Your kingdom come, your will be done, here on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus called for his disciples to pray that the invisible kingdom of heaven would completely take over the kingdoms of the world. It was his will that every person on the earth would hear the good news of salvation so that they would have the opportunity to prepare for the coming king. Then Jesus addressed their physical needs with their daily concerns with, Give us this day our daily bread. He encouraged the disciples to rely on God for food to eat, a place to live, and for clothes to wear. He urged them not to worry, but to trust their Heavenly Father to provide everything they needed day by day. Next came these words, Forgive us our sins, as we forgive everyone who has wronged us. He was reminding them that in order to be forgiven by God, they must first forgive everyone who has hurt them. There is no sin that God cannot forgive. Likewise, there should be no wrongdoing that we cannot forgive in others. Jesus continued, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Most certainly the enemy of the world, Satan himself, was not happy about this conversation Jesus was having with his disciples. Through prayer, the disciples would receive strength to resist temptation and to avoid falling for the enemy's tricks. Prayer would be their rescue. Then Jesus taught them to be persistent in prayer. He said, let's say you go to your neighbor in the middle of the night with the urgent need. A friend of yours arrived unexpectedly and you have nothing to feed this hungry guest after a very long journey. But your neighbor does not want to be bothered because it is the middle of the night and everyone is sound asleep. Come back in the morning when it is day and the household is awake, but you continue to pound on the door, confident that if you persist, he will finally give you what you desperately need. Don't you think after all of this, your friend would finally give you the loaves? Jesus urged the disciples to pray with the same determination and persistence. He taught them to never give up. How encouraged the disciples were to learn that they could talk to an all-powerful God as their Father and that He would provide for their needs, forgive their sins, and protect them from their enemies. The kingdom belongs to God, and His power and glory is forever. <laughs>